Hello again and welcome back to step number two of the Midnight Grind. So in the first step I talked to you a lot about trying to get signed up for ClickFunnels Funnels account and I showed you the process to get that started. Today I'm going to talk to you about share funnels and how I can import this exact funnel right into your account. So that way it's a plug and play, drag and drop, boom, done. You can get started right away, right off the bat. So if you hit that button to the left of this video again and you so the click here to download this funnel into your ClickFunnels account. It'll pop you up to this page here. Uh, this page, there will be a video that will automatically play, which is a little bit annoying, um, but that will show you show you again kind of what the share funnel process is about. And then there will also be another section here that will say get this get your free day free trial of ClickFunnels as well if you hadn't done that in the first step for with me. Um, but then down here, it'll also say just add this funnel. Now, this will automatically add this funnel directly into your account in the shared funnel folder. And you'll have a nice little preview down here of what that will end up being in the end as well. Now, mine's a very, very simple funnel. It's only two steps, which it's very straightforward. If there were multiple steps in this funnel, there would be more previews down the line here. But like I say, mine's only two steps. Very straightforward. Now I'm going to pause the video for a moment here and I will see you in my accounts and I can show you exactly where to locate this. Alright, so here we are on the home page of ClickFunnels. Now hopefully you've already kind of oriented yourself to the home page so you kind of have a general idea of where everything's at. But just in case, I'm going to show you exactly where to find that funnel. So if you highlight over the top of this Funnels tab at the top here and you hit Browse Funnels. Now ClickFunnels will automatically... Um, separate all of your different funnels into folders and you can rename these folders and you can put them as whatever you'd like. I believe it'll automatically populate as a shared funnels folder. So if you if you hit this shared funnels it'll automa it'll have the midnight grind done for you funnel in that shared funnels folder. Mine is underneath my affiliate marketing folder. Uh, it's just how I separate it better in my mind. So that's where it ended up. So if I hit that Midnight Grand done for you funnel. It'll automatically bring you to this page here, and this is where you're able to basically do any of your editing, any of your settings, any of anything you could possibly think of will auto, um, almost be done in this page. Uh, I just want to talk about sharing and where to find those links in order to do that. So if you go up to the upper right and hit this settings button, uh, and here's where you can see all the different settings for that account so you can see your name your group tag your custom domain the path for it and then your smtp configuration etc etc if you scroll down just a hair you can also see where you share this funnel url now this is where i'll copy and paste this url into that orange button using the editor which i'm going to talk about in the next step now i also want to talk a little bit about action addicts action addicts is that email autoresponder that it automatically kicks out those emails in a in a set period of time that'll push people to try to get into this this um, training sequence and that gets into into the back into the swing of things each day at a certain period. So if we can highlight over action X and go down to action funnels, I'll have this TMG the minute grind and it's an onboarding sequence. If I click on there, in order to find that same URL that I found with my share funnel, you just gotta click this little arrow in the upper right in the middle of the page on the top there, and then there's that same same type of URL except this one is for the action funnel. So that's it for step number two. In the next step, I'll go through the editor process and how to work that. We'll see you soon.